How Chelsea will line up under Thomas Tuchel with Kukrela, Sterling and Koulibaly, their three big summer signings. Thomas Tuchel is a manager that does like the 3-4-2-1 shape and has played that mainly at Chelsea. There's a lot of uh, ball playing around the back. There's a lot of uh, you know ability to hit players in space. The wing backs are vitally important in the final third and the front three play quite narrow and quite close together. There are question marks maybe in Chelsea's squad in a number nine, hence why Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang has been linked with a move uh, back to, to London to play under Thomas Tuchel. Uh, in fact, he scored the second most goals under the German tactic. But let's go through the new signings. First up, uh, Koulibaly from Napoli. Koulibaly is a player that I really, really like. You know, he's a player that I've followed for a long time. Uh, when Manchester United were looking at Harry Maguire, they were looking at Koulibaly. Koulibaly was the one for me. I think he's a top-tier ball-playing centre-back. The lad leadership into the Chelsea squad. Very experienced defender. And I think when you look at some players that have really starred under Thomas Tuchel in London, such as Thiago Silva, I think Koulibaly is going to have that similar impact. He's a very calm Arm player capable of carrying out from the back, he will have a similar impact to Rudiger, in my opinion. I think arguably is probably the perfect, uh, you know, replacement for Rudiger if he was a, uh, you know, c more comfortable playing on the left hand side, but will play probably on the right hand side of the defence. And um, the other thing that you've got to mention as well with Koulibaly, he had a really good relationship with Jorginho. At Napoli, their ability to, you know, not only link, but play passes together, one-twos, progress the football, I think it's going to be very, very important for Chelsea this season. Koulibaly, their right-sided centre-back, adding a lot of experience and quality on the football, but also a very good defender as well. Um, I've seen games against the likes of Kylian Mbappe in the Champions League, where Koulibaly, you know, has, has starred. And I think the Chelsea will, you know, move forward with, uh, you know, a new leader at the back. To, to join Thiago Silva. Uh, but now let's move on to Mark Cucrella. Mark Cucrella was one of my favourite Premier League players last season, arguably the best left-back in the league, arguably because not only did he play as a left-sided centre-back, but he also played as a left wing-back for uh, Graham, Graham Potter. And I think that opens up a really interesting dynamic for Chelsea. In a sense, obviously, Chilwell will be the number one for Chelsea. You know, he's going to be the number one left wing-back, uh, in my opinion, and I think Cucrella will play mainly as a, as a left-sided centre-back. Of course, Kukrela can play there as well. But in terms of, um, you know, Brighton last season and, and how they played, there was a bit of an interesting evolution um, for them from a tactical perspective. Uh, and that came with, uh, Ch with them actually fielding a right-footed left wing-back in Trossard. And that's something that Chelsea could do, either with a hudson Adoy, who's got an unbelievable uh, minutes to chances chances created per 90 numbers in the Premier League, but we could see a right-footed attacker play on that side. So, you know, a great example of, uh, you know, Cucrella playing that role for, for Brighton was against Manchester United. Absolutely destroyed them. Four goals to nil. Look at the average positions. You can see how high Cucrella is. Arguably playing as an overlapping centre-back. You know, Trossard would drive inside, would cut inside on his stronger right foot. Uh, and Cucrella would provide the overlap in the final third. Of course, Cucrella, Cucrella scored. He had a load of touches in the game. Um, and it allowed Trossard to be free and grabbed himself a goal and two assists. I think we could see this at Chelsea, which is quite interesting. Um in terms of an evolution for Thomas Tuchel, you think that, you know, Sterling will play very, very high with, with Kai Havertz. I think that would be a kind of a central, uh, you know, two-man strike force. Mount's always going to be operating in this number 10 area. But it could allow, you know, not only uh, for Chelsea to progress the ball to that left-hand side and allow someone like a, you know, hudson Adoy to attack you on the inside in the final third, but also it'd allow Kukrela to provide a bit of an overlap. So you, you're getting a super dynamic left-hand side of the pitch where you've got three attackers in Sterling, hudson Adoy, and Kukrela. Alternatively, you know, Christian Pulisic could play that position um, in, a, in a similar manner, cutting inside, driving into the inside of the pitch. But that you're kind of creating a you know really good triangle. And with Chelsea's kind of defensive midfield line, um, you know, we know that they're kind of really safe on the ball. They'll retain possession a lot. I think sometimes you need uh, you know a centre back to step into midfield. Uh, obviously, the reaction will be Kovacic dropping in. Kukela will kind of join this triangle as an attacking unit and probably you know provide that extra 
body on the overlap and then getting the ball into the final third. I think it's a superb signing. I think I think it's a signing that will evolve Chelsea. If you know, if City were to you know bring in Kukrela to their football club, I would have said it the same thing. Uh, for sixty-two million quid, it's it, it's a lot of cash, but you're getting a guy that's super dominant um, and you're providing that attacking thrust. You know, not only could Kukrela play that position, but let's say Chelsea maybe are playing a you know tougher opponent, maybe want to throw another. A center a center back in there, Aspil Equator. Of course, you can get Kukrela playing as a kind of attacking uh, left wing back and a player that can create, can deliver into the box, was in the top five players for chances created from fullback last season. He also played left midfield for Getafe in a 4 4 2, which is a very similar position to the wing back area. Um, and I, I think it's, it, it's an interesting one. It will free the wing backs again to. to to, to attack high, considering that Cucrello is very comfortable at defending that left-hand side of the pitch. Uh, very versatile, can play probably four positions for Chelsea. And finally, summer signing uh, Raheem Sterling. I think he'll play either as a false nine uh, or he'll play as this kind of left-sided attacker. Uh, in pre-season, he racked up the most expected goals for Chelsea. His biggest attribute is moving off the ball. And I think we'll see a lot of link play between the likes of Mason Mount, Reese James on the overlap and providing for Sterling for the tap-in. Either Sterling attacking that back post or attacking that kind of, uh, you know, Cut back area with Kai Havertz clearing it out. I think we'll see that quite a lot with Chelsea this season. It also makes them quite adaptable and, uh, you know, ability to, to move the team um, versus different opponents. You know, we could see Chelsea rock into a 3 5 2. Um, and Sterling players a nominal striker with Kai Havertz. You know, I think that's a perfect role for him, you know, for him to to drop off and get on the ball, but also stretch oppositions by running in behind. I think it, it, it's another really, really good signing uh, for Chelsea. It gives them good depth. I was a little worried um, for Chelsea pre uh, the signings they made with the Koulibaly, with the Kukrela. But now I think they're they're probably absolutely sound and maybe a guaranteed top four team. I think the, the the business that they've done this week and the last week has been very very good. Um, so that's how Chelsea can line up um, with their new signings uh, this season. Uh, you know, be it Kovacic with Angulo Kante or Kovacic with Jorginho, you could base that on you know who you're playing. I think you've got a lot of quality at wing back as well. Conor Gallagher, I think, may play more of a goal scoring role. Um, for Chelsea, I think that's where he's he's at his best in this system. Is actually playing as a, a guy that's going to get into the penalty area, allowing Mason Mount to get in. So it could be a you know if you want to go super boxy in midfield against the big teams and play basically four central midfielders centrally, that could be a really good tactical uh, weapon for Thomas Tuchel uh, in this team. Of course, you've still got the likes of Timo Werner that's you know got pace in behind. If you want to stretch teams in another way, but I think Sterling will be kind of the main guy as the forward. I think the team around it will be rotated. So it's a good team, it's a good setup, and it's a it's a very good squad uh, that Thomas Tuchel and Chelsea have built. Uh, Mark Cucurello, I think, completes that side. So very, very interesting. Guys, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button, like that goddamn video, and get in the comments below. Who do you want to see us check out next? Thank you for watching.